beautiful Pleiadians. <laughs> Welcome to your general reading with me, Ari. How are you guys doing? So let's see what's up with our beautiful, joyful, playful, funny, fun Pleiadians. God, angels, what do we have? What messages do we have for our Pleiadian? Wow, DNA karma, you see that? Whew. The reading's coming strong, coming in strong. Um, there is DNA activation going on. The bottom we have surrounded resentments, uh, reminding us that even if you're a star seed, you are experiencing a human experience now, and there is difficult shit in on Earth. Okay, I'm just gonna put it that way. So surrender. There are some things to surrender still that we picked up on on our journey. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say it like that. Now we have gorilla. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. I don't know about if it's this is this doesn't have to be physical family. It can be if you're lucky, you know. But a lot of us, it can be our soul family, it can be our soul ancestors that are trying to connect with you through your through your DNA even, because DNA is pure spirit. And spirit, time to collaborate. A lot of people are coming in, a lot of people are coming in. This is the first card here, also to create. I feel like this is a very fundamental reading. Oh. Like the, the these cards that came out here, it's not they're not they're not joking, okay? This is like A lot of root chakra energies I'm coming, um, I'm having as well. I had it in the series as well. The healing messages that we get here is not, is very much existential, is what I'm picking up. And the Krishna devotion, right? Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Wow, look at this gorgeousness. Okay, let's see which animals are coming around for Pleiadians. Yeah. So that's my new concept for my channel now. I'm gonna do Starseed Lightworker readings instead of something else readings. Now, Tiger. very intuitive this is the feminine side of the fire energy ah. both very intuitive both very moony lizard here we have lizard adaptability being able to adapt just wow black egg as i said this is no joke this reading okay this reading is no joke swan being able to look at yourself With the moon on your back, on your forehead, and there is some truth that wants to come out here with the black egg. I want to clarify that black egg with the Dreams of Gaia terror. Because this is the throat <coughs> throat chakra. I I had a sore throat as soon as I was saying throat chakra. You guys got some throat chakra, unblockage, clearance, healing needed here. That's what's coming up. Okay. Yeah. Now I don't even need to clarify. But I'll ask for two cards for this black egg, please. Whoa. It's too many on the floor. Two cards for the black egg. There we go. Here we have... Oh, 
Ace of Earth, how you see that connection from the heart chakra uh, upwards towards the, the throat? Okay, so not to forget that the heart chakra is being fueled, is fueling the throat chakra. And here we have 20, 24. Now I don't even know what this is called in this deck and I'm not going to look it up. I'm just looking at the image now and it's telling me how connected to the universe you are and how connected the universe is to you. You are the universe, you are one with the universe, being supported by the Mother Earth, being guided by your animal spirit guides. The need to be more out in nature is being um, yeah, being said here. I'm gonna go on with this deck. They are talking to me now. I like this. Okay, let's ask for some cards for Pleiadians. What are our messages for Pleiadians? Spirit, God, Angels. What do we have for Pleiadians? Okay. I'm gonna pull some cards. I don't want jumpers now. Because they are very exciting. Let me just give it a nice good shuffle. Excited! <laughs> the cards are very excited. All of them want to jump out. Jump out. That's why I'm just gonna cut the cut and pull. Cut and pull. Cut and pull. I'm really enjoying my star seed readings now because I feel way more free than just zodiac readings. I'm gonna be honest. I feel surrounded by more loving beings. I feel surrounded by more aware beings. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. And you know, it's all just... In Turkish, for example, I still do the Zodiac readings, so... Um, it's nice to be... It's nice to sit on all tables, but I think I'm... It's good now for me to do the star seeds in English. All right, let's see what do we have. Aces, a lot of aces. Ace of fire, ace of wands, two of earth. Just after one, we already have the two. The nine of waters, ten of fire, three of swords, three of air. Gron, or is it the Gron? Hermit energy. It's a 10 in this deck. A page of Pentacles. Nine of Fire. Okay. Queen of Cups. Five of air. Yeah. Somebody is letting loose of old masks. Perhaps how one went around in, uh, in, in and around society. The older comfortable ways of being in and around society is being shed now. New start, new growth. Uh, going deep within, looking inside oneself. Meditating, contemplating. Okay, let's see what comes out. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. We have the Page and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So yeah, I see a lot of Heart Chakra Awakening as well. And I see a need of speaking out more out of your heart, more out of your own alignment. And I think there are some um, automated, automated ways of communication, okay? Things that we just say, things that we just um, throw around, words, sentences that we just throw around. This is changing and it's uncomfortable for you now. 
Okay. This ASO once is almost like a new microphone, a new way of speaking. You have built it, you have made the intention, but now when it's really starting and happening, you're feeling kind of in a need for recalibration, in a need for new balance, which is coming, but it's just happening now, okay? It'll take some minute, a minute or two. What else do we have here? Learning, learning new words, reading new, you know, reading books that uh, talk to you, or just learning things that uh, you're, you are you are curious about, so that you don't feel alone because you're not alone. Okay, I'm here. We are all here. We all felt alone. We all felt alone at one point, but we are not alone. Okay. So this is the need to adapt now. And you have a lot of spirit guides, animal spirit guides also around you. Bat is very ancestral energy for me. I also see you finding a treasure, finding a treasure, a huge stone of sorts. It can be a, from the local fire stone, whatever to a huge um, quartz, crystal quartz, something that will talk to you. And whatever it is, I see a lot of keys here, whatever it is, you need to start that it needs to be rooted, otherwise you need rooted. You need rootedness, um, to practicality, to practice, practice, you know, make it, make your new way practical in whichever way possible um, you need to exist you need don't you're not you're not just about to die today physically okay not before you have completed your your journey you don't want and it's not allowed so let's not do that and any hoozles this whole change heart chakra throat chakra alignment of course with all the chakras as we see here all the chakras but yeah that's also very important to say with all the chakras it's not just but a lot of heart chakra awakening that affecting the throat chakra and being needing needing to um needing to start there start there because the messages are coming you're just trying to find human words how to put them into words you're just trying to find human words how to manifest it in your reality okay yeah wow i really liked it like this energy yeah take time to listen so this can also be you finding some readers that also align with you okay that give you some stories that give you some um, insights ways of seeing ways of being that excite you that feel like you feel held you feel like wow yeah there are people who understand me and who will understand me and I'm not crazy Whew. a lot of moon energy will help you take a moon bath you know uh, it's just this is, um, soothing energy of the moon and talk your truth this can also be um, writing, journaling, automatic writing, this black egg, but it will turn into a golden egg, but now it's time for a drag black egg. We have the colibri. Uh, I was pulling goodbye messages. We have the colibri and then we have the rune dagas. Um, connection to the source, higher perception, okay? And at the bottom we have the leap of faith. We have the bad spirit again. Bad spirit. A rebirth is assured. Yes. Bad. I mean, maybe for a lot of you the bat is a, um, a spirit animal for you. Especially this year where it's very much looked down upon. Um, for you know what, whatever. But it has a lot of messages for you. And leap of faith, I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. 
me also asking for help from the angels and taking that leap of faith towards your own authentic way of being, way of expressing yourself. You know, I'm just saying expressing yourself, but it's not just like that. When you really authentically express yourself, it helps you heal and grow in a physical way. The Colibri is also talking about... Oh, it's the hummingbird. It's okay. It's the hummingbird. The hummingbird is talking about also that leap of faith. It's a beautiful bird when it opens his mouth. It's full of energy. It also wanders from north to south all the time. Okay, Krishna is there to create with you. Ask for the help from Krishna. Use the dagas to be connected. This is the rune, okay? To be connected to the higher dimensions. And the hummingbird energy is a very high vibrational energy, if nothing. And 26 is 7, uh, 8, 7, 8, 7, 8. 8 is a very powerful manifestor number. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, full moon in Aquarius. Show the world real you. Do it, Pleiadians, you got this. I am very much here for you next time. And until next time, to be gentle and mindful with yourselves and all those around you. Bye.